this is my student support system keep watching keep learning good morning students today we will start a new subject that is psychology this lecture is about introduction to psychology and mind body relationship this topic is asked many times in examination so we will start with that this lecture is in english and if you want to study in hindi just click on i button and you will get link of hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system what is psychology the word psychology is derived from the greek word psyche and logos and as you know psyche means mind or soul and logos means study so the dictionary meaning or literary meaning of the word psychology is simply study of mind but modern psychologists say that it is not only the study of mind as well as because study of body human body and how the person behaves this is also included in the psychology so depending upon these situations or understandings many psychologists gave different definitions of psychology and we will discuss few of them here in this lecture according to some psychologists psychology is defined as the science that deals with the mental process and behavior one another uh, definition says that psychology is the science that studies mind its behavior mental process as well as art of applying this knowledge to help others so this is the uh, best definition of psychology by these above definitions one concept should be clear in our mind that psychology explains the laws and science working behind human behavior the study of psychology is very important for health professionals because we can predict the behavior of the patient and can control it to some extent by applying the laws of psychology history of psychology the father of psychology is believed to be william wundet wundet wanted to apply the methodological experimental methods of science to study human consciousness to this end to prove that to study that he founded first ever psychological laboratory in germany in 1880s and around 1930 american psychologist john b watson founded a new movement that changed the focus of psychology he believed that internal mental process should not be studied because they cannot be observed instead watson advocated that psychology focus on the study of behavior and thus this movement known is known as behaviorism now we come to the special topic which comes in examination that is mind body relationship when we study these definitions of psychology and history of psychology we can understand that initial revolutions of psychology it was considered that psychology is the study of spirit or soul but later psychologists realized that it is not possible to study uh, mind or soul because they are not concrete so they defined psychology as study of mind but again they faced the problem because mind is also not concrete then finally they realized that mind is not separate from the body and we should study the body as well 
personality as well human behavior as well and mental process what is going on in the brain these all were included in the psychology in modern psychology the psych the there is emphasis is given on behavioral part and this behavior is affected by both mind or mental status of the person and body or physical status of the person a person reacts differently to the different situations at same time depending upon the mental process and in the same way he will react differently with the same situation at different times depending upon his physical condition as well and mental situation as well so it should be clear in our mind that the body and mind they are well related to each other and both have their effect on each other also and human behavior as well if a person is mentally depressed or in stress the body organs may also starts responding or working differently such as heart rate may increase or change gastrointestinal movement may change or increase due to the uh, effect of some hormones released by the mental stress or tensions and in the same way when there is some ailment or pain in the body the mental situation or thinking power of the person is also changed so in this way in with this example we can understand that mind and body they affect each other as well as human behavior that's why psychologists see that human body and mind are not separate they are interrelated to each other and this theory this concept is known as mind body relationship thank you students for uh, watching these such type of videos or understanding such topics you can subscribe the channel you can like facebook page and for making your notes you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com you can follow me on twitter instagram and facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day